Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to monitor your heart rate using your Android device even if you don't have a heart rate sensor. Now I actually have three apps that can do this for you. The first is Instant Heart Rate Monitor, the second is Runtastic Heart Rate, and the third is Cardiograph. They're all three available for free on the Google Play Store, so just search them by name to get them installed or head over to the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks to get a direct link to the Play Store page. But basically how they work is by sending a pulse of light through your fingertip using the LED light on the back of your phone, then measuring what bounces back using the camera on the back of your phone. And really all three of these apps work just about the same. You put your finger over the LED flash on the back of your phone, but in a way that it also covers the camera at the same time. But again, the first one we'll be trying is called Instant Heart Rate. Let's see how this one works. You can kind of see it right now pulsing through the back of my finger. And then in the end, it gives me 100 beats per minute as my heart rate. That's kind of high, but I've actually not been resting recently, so it makes a little sense. Let's see what else the other ones have to say. So next up is Runtastic Heart Rate, which is pretty much the exact same functionality, just in a different package. Again with this one, you see it working just the same way, with the LED flashing through my fingertip and the camera recording it, right? And the end result, amazingly enough, is just about the same, so there must be some sort of science behind this, right? Now third up is Cardiograph, and again, same functionality, but just a slightly different interface. And again, we'll take a measurement. I'm getting kind of hot right now, though. And then again, we're right there in that same neighborhood, 9900 beats per minute. So actually, there might be something to these apps, and I can say that they've been pretty consistent so far when I've been testing them. But let's see what they do when compared to an actual heart rate sensor, like the one that comes in the Galaxy S6. So here I'm using the S Health app to measure my heart rate with the actual heart rate sensor on the back of the Galaxy S6, and let's see how it compares, right? And what do you know, almost the exact same measurement. So the workaround of using the LED and the camera at the same time actually seems to be pretty accurate. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.